One morning, Edward was waiting to pick up passengers from Thomas's train. Beep, beep. We're late. Where is Thomas? He doesn't usually make us wait. Oh, dear, what can the matter be? sang the fireman. Johnny so long and... Never you mind about Johnny, laughed the driver. Just you climb on the cab and look for Thomas. Can you see him? No, replied the fireman. There's Bertie Buss in a tearing hurry. No need to bother with him, though. Likely he's on a coach tour or something. He clambered down. Stop! Stop! I've got Thomas's passengers, wailed Bertie, roaring up to the gates. It was no good. Edward was gone. Bother, said Bertie. Bother Thomas's fireman not coming to work today. Why did I promise to help the passengers catch the train? That will do, Bertie, said his driver. A promise is a promise, and we must keep it. Edward or bust, said Bertie. Oh, my gears and axles, he groaned, toiling up the hill. I'll never be the same bus again. Hooray, hooray, I see him, cheered Bertie as he reached the top. Oh, no, Edward's at the station. No, he stopped at a crossing. Hooray, hooray. Bertie tore down the hill. Well done, Bertie, shouted his passengers. Go it! Bertie skidded into the yard. Wait, wait, cried Bertie. He was just in time to see Edward puff away. I'm sorry, said Bertie. Never mind, said the passengers. After him quickly. Third time lucky, you know. Do you think we'll catch him at the next station, driver? There's a good chance, replied the driver. Our road keeps close to the line, and we can climb hills better than Edward. I'll just make sure. He spoke to the station master. Bertie and the passengers waited impatiently. Yes, we'll do it this time, said the driver. Hooray, called the passengers as Bertie chased after Edward once more. This hill is too steep, this hill is too steep, grumbled the coaches as Edward snorted in front. They reached the top at last and ran smoothly into the station. Beep, whistled Edward. Get in quickly, please. The conductor blew the whistle and Edward's driver looked back, but the flag didn't wave. Then he heard Bertie. Everything seemed to happen at once, and the station master told the conductor and driver what had happened. I'm sorry about the chase, Bertie, said Edward. My fault, replied Bertie. Late at junction, you didn't know about Thomas's passengers? Beep, beep. Goodbye, Bertie. We're off, whistled Edward. Three cheers for Bertie, called the passengers. Bertie raced back to tell Thomas that all was well. Thank you, Bertie, for keeping your promise, said Thomas. You're a very good friend indeed.